Hello Lobos and Canvas learners. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a sandbox or an empty course. So for the purpose of this video we're going to call it a sandbox but this would also be how you could create a new empty course if you were making a course for you and your entire team to work in, if you were making a club, if you were making a professional learning course. Those are just some of the reasons that you might make a course from scratch. But the main reason would be a sandbox. What is a sandbox? A sandbox is a place for you to play. It's a place for you to develop content where it's not automatically published. Your students would not see it. Your students will not be enrolled in your sandbox. Your sandbox is a place for you to work and learn. So let's get started. I'm in my dashboard and I'm going to scroll down and on the bottom-ish right hand side I see the option to start a new course. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to give it a name. We recommend that you call it your full first name, last name, sandbox. And the reason for that is so that if something happens and I have to go in and recover it, I can easily find it. If you just call it sandbox, there could be 30 or 40 courses called sandbox and I wouldn't be able to find the one that's yours. So full name, sandbox, you may even want to add the year. That way you can distinguish between prior year sandboxes and the current one. Short name, don't worry about. I just leave the content license alone, private. There's no reason to change it. And don't worry about making the course publicly visible. No reason to do that. And then you say create course. That's it. That's all there is to creating a new course. You're going to need to know how to do this so that you can submit for the remainder of the assignments in the Canvas course, the Canvas Basics course. So make sure that you understand how to create a sandbox. If you don't, please reach out to any member of the Digital Learning Services Department.